We're still at staffing. We've had 50 mile an hour winds. Slightly calmer at the minute, but they're due to come back, as is the rain. So today's gonna be a washout. So we'll see you in the morning. It's actually a lovely blue sky day today after such a rainy day yesterday. Lovely weather. Bit grain places, but it will do. So we are at Staffing Beach and Karan Beach. <laughs> and we've bumped into Mavic MTA who's a fellow YouTuber and a subscriber and we subscribe to him as well and he does drone footage cinematic drone footage and he does really really good videos so go and check his channel out and him and his daughter are going to say hello do you want to hold that and talk into that Hello, I'm Comedy and I'm seven years old and I'm almost eight. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. And uh, you. Roaming in Raymond. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> We've just left Stephen. He's staying up the top end for a bit. Because while he's up there, he might as well go and do some exploring. But we had a lovely few days with him, don't we? We did. Yeah, it's been nice. But we've got to make our way to the mainland. Don't know where we're going though. We've got our next stop, we know that. But after that, God, the road's horrible, man. But after that, we don't know where we're going. We don't know what direction we're going. I think we need to see where the weather's going to be the best and try and go that way. Because I'm just sick of the rain. It's raining now, again. So we'll see you in a bit. What a view to wake up to, I. Eh? That is out the bedroom window. We are at Clacan Dewish Burial Ground. If that's how you pronounce it, I'll put the spelling up at the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous. We've been here before and we loved it here. We've just popped out, if you can even hear me, and it's just started hailing really bad. Visibility is absolutely awful. Just suddenly come from nowhere, didn't it? Yeah. Absolutely mad. Vipers are on full. So misery guts. Chucking down again, ain't it? It is. We've basically left where we overnighted at the burial ground and we've come back down the A87 try and get some footage of Eileen, Don and Castle, ain't we? Yep. And it's supposed to be sunshine and showers all day, but it tends to be more showers than sunshine unfortunately. So Carl Short should get the drone up, ain't ya? Oh yeah. Yeah. How long did you fly for? Uh, about 10 seconds. I forgot the waterproof for the drone because oh. I needed it. Okay, yeah. It wasn't. It was about three minutes yeah. and then he's had to bring it back in. And there's hardly anything on there because of the rain. And the wind. Yeah. And then I was going to get out and try and do a bit of filming. But it's crap. 
And then tomorrow's meant to be a write-off. But it's going to have to do what we can, ain't we? Yeah. Going to wait for it to clear up a bit and then try and move further down the road and get out. We've moved and we parked there now, which is a free car park with a donation box. No overnight parking, which is a shame. Right on the other side of the bridge in Dorney. Got the estuary here. That's our view out the window at the minute. Shame you can't overnight really. So the castle was built in the 13th century and then got partially destroyed in 1719 in a Jacobite uprising. But in 1911, McRae Gilstrap bought the island and then spent over 20 years restoring the castle. And it was reopened in 1932. And as most of you probably know, if you're in my age group or older, it features in the film Highlander and in that film, it's the clan MacLeod who live there, but it wasn't, it was the McRae's. And the town of Dorney, I presume that's it over there. Oh, and down there. Gonna go and have a nosy in a bit when the weather picks up a bit because it's still drizzly and horrid. But it looks really nice. finally got back out it's now half past three so we got about two hours of daylight left we've been rained off completely after we went for that little walk on the bay it's just crap man it is starting to get to me but i'm just trying to ignore it but just been so wet man six weeks of near enough rain and rain and more rain sky is in that direction we're only about 10 miles away from Sky. I think this is still Loch Dewish, but I'm not sure. And then you've got the lovely little town here called Dorney. And this is Dorney with its brightly coloured painted houses. Don't think anything's open though. There's a hotel here. There's a pub here. But I don't think it's open. Oh, it might be actually. Oh, is it? Well, the pub opened at four. Okay. The Clacken Inn, if that's how you say it, or Clacken. Sit, sit. Sit down, Nucky Manst. So, Cole's had a pint of a local ale, ain't ya? And I've got a glass of rose. Really nice. <laughs> it's got a frothy moustache. It's gone. I know. A tanker, do you mean? Yeah. yeah. 
It's only a little one. We've just come out of the pub after having our yummy chocolate gluten free pudding and the castle's all lit up. Ain't that a picture? We parked back up at the burial ground last night. Lovely view, what you can see of it. But as you can probably hear and see, the weather is absolutely atrocious. And it's meant to be like this all day and all night. So we don't even think we're going to get out till tomorrow. But we'll see. It's the following morning, meant to be a sunny day today according to the Met Office. Does that look like sunshine? I think not. It's supposed to be dry all night, it's been chucking down half the night. Oh, I think you can just about make out. That's our batteries on 12, we've got a battery warning light. As soon as we flick a light on. They're going down to like 11.9, 11.8. In desperate need of some sunshine, ain't we, Oaks? Yes, we are. Oh no, I was having vitamin D when I came here. I prescribed from the doctors because it was so low. I need it again when I get home at this rate. Yep. We found out that vampires have got more vitamin D than you, ain't they? Yeah, flipping out. Nucky don't care though, look, he's chilling. <laughs> ain't you, puppy? Oh, he's up, because Carl's got his treats out. Because <laughs> we got the treats that Jeanette and Jim gave us the money for. Our subscribers that we made. And look at him. Look what you got, Nookie. Oh, which one's Nookie Monster? Which one do you want? Oh, you, oh, you want this one. <laughs> Oh, he loves them. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his tail. Have a couple of those. Okay, then. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he loves them. He's a happy boy. One of these also. There you go. Spoiled boy, ain't you, Nucky Manst? Yeah. Never says no to presents, he don't. No. No, he's happy. Nucky's happy. We finally got out. Never got out at all yesterday. It just rained all day. And I mean all day. But that's where we parked up. Very nice indeed. Looks like the sun's trying to break through as well. Which would be a nice refreshing change. And there's a footpath there that takes you between the trees there. But Carl went up there yesterday with a dog and he said it's really, really muddy and horrible. Because there's water running off the mountains all over the path. As you can see, that's really mucky there. And there's a waterfall flowing down the mountain there, which is all you can hear all night. And there's one there as well, coming into view. I think that's it there. It's a bit hard to see on a teeny screen. And there's another one there above those trees. And we are walking to the burial ground and the old church, which is just a ruin. But it's really, really picturesque. Did want me sticks, but I forgot them, so hopefully I can get up to the main monument.
and there's us again and I can see another waterfall there too tiny on here to probably see it absolutely stunning scenery again we love it here apart from the crap weather we've had roads just down there you can probably hear a truck going past and this is the old burial ground and apparently it was destroyed in the 1700s by a battleship when Eileen Donnan got damaged as well because of the McCrae's and their involvement in the Jacobite uprising so most of the graves in this cemetery and the modern cemetery are from the McRae family, so the McRae clan. And the man who rebuilt Eileen Donnan Castle, McRae Gilstrap, or Gilstrap, is also buried here with his wife. So before we leave, we're heading up there to the McRae Memorial. Oh, and the path, God, my boots are going to get sucked off my feet. The path is really, really boggy in places, but it's understandable with the amount of rain we've had. And there's the memorial. Absolutely stunning. I love it. Oh, I do. I'll try to get a close-up of it. And it says it was erected by the clan McRae and friends in memory of the McRae's and relatives at home and abroad who fell in the Great World War, 1914 to 1918. What a spot for a memorial but god it's really windy up here i've had to sit on the bench so i don't get blown over so i'm gonna make my way back down because it's chucking down we're back inside now ain't we we are and it's chucking down again so so much for sunny intervals are full of crap yep so we've been in Scotland six and a half weeks. It was meant to be a six week trip and we changed it to eight, didn't we? Yeah. But Carl's getting fed up with the rain now, fed ain't ya? Getting wet all the time. <laughs> yeah, and it's, clothes, yeah. running out of towels. Yeah, and he's trying to dry stuff, man. He can't dry anything. Batteries are bloody crap. No solar. No? Oh, it's getting bad, ain't it? Yeah. You know, it's all right if you use campsites, but we don't. No. And we don't really want to use one this late in the game, do we? No, we don't. I mean, we did use one and we thought, oh, we'll get the washing done, we'll be fine, and that'll be that. But, but it turned into a nightmare on its own. Well, yeah, it did. But yeah. the amount of towels we've gone through because we're constantly bloody wet. But we're going to move to our next stop. We are. And then we'll all see what tomorrow brings. Yep. So we might be escaping earlier and getting back into England. But then even then, it might be raining there, so who knows. Just the way to see. Yeah. So we're going to go, ain't we, Augs? We are. So, what do you say? Bye. And I say bye.
and look his eyes boy but he don't care that it's raining do you puppy <laughs>